Hey y'all, welcome to Michelle's Tasty Dishes. Today I have one of my husband's favorite. It's a Keto Little Debbie Brownie. So come on and join me in the kitchen for this one. All right guys, let's get these brownies started. You're gonna start out in a um, microwave safe bowl with a stick and a half of butter and a four ounce box of unsweetened 100% cocoa um, baking chocolate. And you're gonna microwave this. Took me about two minutes and 30 seconds to get it to completely melt. Then once you get that melted, we are going to add in one fourth cup of almond flour Next, we are going to add in two tablespoons of coconut flour. One cup of sugar substitute. I'm using um, Swerve Granular. Then I'm going to add in a half a teaspoon of salt. And then we're doing one teaspoon of vanilla. If you haven't yet and you enjoy um, cooking videos, we do keto low carb and we also do the regular home cooking comfort food. We have videos, vlogs of Mike and Michelle, our family. And we also have our daily um, devotionals and on Thursday nights we have meeting at the altar live videos where we discuss scripture and have fellowship. So if any of that interests you, go ahead and subscribe. Ring the bell so you don't miss out on any notifications when videos go up. Leave us comments, like the videos, because all that helps us out a lot. Now I'm adding three um, eggs that are at room temperature. And then you are just going to mix them in. We used to be distributors for Little Debbie's and um, we had a couple routes that we ran for them. And uh, so we always had Little Debbie's at hand and then we had found this recipe when I was doing strict keto and um, Mike actually loved them. I was shocked, but they are pretty good. They're healthy and you know, it's better than eating all that sugar. Sugar and carbs and these, you know, are good. All right, once you get that all mixed in, you need a nine by 13 greased, very well greased pan, or um, you can put some parchment paper down. But you're just gonna spread that in that pan evenly. And you want your oven preheated at 350. You're gonna bake it for 20 to 25 minutes until it's no longer uh, jiggly and then you have to let it cool completely before we add the icing. So just spread that evenly in your pan. And I will say it is very rich. You know, so you can't, don't, if you catch a really big piece, you're not gonna probably be able to eat that whole piece because it is, with that 100% cocoa, um, baking chocolate, I mean, it's extremely rich. But it's good. And we leave it sit in the fridge, 
but then um, when you cut you a piece, I always leave it sit out to warm up a little bit. It softens it up a little. But there it is finished. Now we're going to put that topping on. And again, it is completely cooled. You have to have it completely cooled. I just heated up a cup of heavy creamer. And that is one bag of sugar-free chocolate chips. And you're just gonna to continue to mix that until it completely melts. Now it will look um, thin. And that's why you want that cake to be completely cooled so that it sets up and you stick it in the refrigerator after you pour the topping on. But there you have it, guys. Keto Little Debbie Brownie. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. And as always, God bless.